hi guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> okay so today i'm making another beginner friendly tutorial for beginners that do not want to spend so much on k classes so i'm making like targeted videos for you guys so you guys can know how to frost the cake from start to finish so today i'm going to teach you how to cover a cake in fondant without having any cracks or folds or tears in your fondant so that's what we're gonna do today but before we go ahead guys i'd like you to subscribe to my channel and like this video and maybe send me a comment in the comment section below it helps me get better chances on youtube thank you okay so today i already made my fondant and i'm going to have a fondant recipe tutorial ready for you guys as soon as possible and i'm already kneading my fondant in some butter i don't need my fondant in crisco or in vegetable chutney i need it in fondant because fondant is really nice and it has some water content so it makes your fondant more pliable i'm going to give you guys a tutorial for that very soon so right now i'm trying to knead it well so i can roll out the fondant and cover my cake and i already covered my cake in white chocolate ganache because white chocolate ganache or dark chocolate ganache are the best in my opinion the best base for your fondant cake because it gives it this really nice like amazing smooth base before you cover your cake in fondant and if you want to see how i cover that in ganache and how i made the ganache i'm going to put the link right up here all you have to do is click on it it says white chocolate ganache so just click on that and you can see how i did that so you can do it by yourself it is very easy so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some cornstarch or some potato starch in my case on the table on the um on the mat on the silicon mat and then spread our fondant what you want to do is spread your fondant wide enough to cover the whole of your cake it doesn't have to cover like to the down to the bottom of your cake if your cake is really tall but you want to spread it wide enough to be able to cover like double the perimeter of the top of your cake like if that makes sense okay so what you want to do is spread it out evenly you don't want there to be bulgy you don't want one side to be higher than the other and you don't want it to be too thick you just want it to be around maybe um two millimeters thick and then this step is very important take a smooth nap and then smoothen it while it is still on your mat that is very important because that way it helps you put everything even better together so the next thing we're going to do is begin to lift our fondant very fast this step has to be super fast because if you're not fast enough your fondant is gonna stretch so you lift it very fast and then put it on top of your cake and then the next thing you want to do is to smoothen the top of your cake as soon as possible before it dries up and the reason you're doing this is because you want there to be no bubbles underneath your cake because if there are bubbles you would see it so guys this is how you prevent cracks and tears in your fondant so the important thing for you to do at this stage is to start from the top make sure like you touch and smoothen the top of your cake round before you try to go to the bottom don't first go from top to bottom all you have to do first is to go around the top of your cake make sure your fondant adheres to the very top of your cake before you try to smoothen other parts this way like you are reducing the chances of having folds and cracks like maybe 90 times like I don't know how to explain that but the first thing you should do is smoothen the top and then once the top of your cake is smooth around the side of the top of your cake and then you can start moving downward and you should do it slowly you don't have to do it too fast and when you're smoothing you should smooth from side to side like make sure you go the first perimeter maybe two centimeters up and then you move downward a little and go around again and then move downward a little and go around again till you get to the bottom of your cake if that makes sense look at what i'm doing i start from the bottom and I, I went round and then went a little bit downward and went round again and went a little bit downward and went around again oh god i'm chewing my mouth basically <laughs> that is what you should do and if that confuses you i want you to watch this video like three four times and try to do what i did like you go around from the very top of your cake first doing that the first time kind of reduces your chances of having cracks and then once you're done with the very top you go again you move downward again then move downward again and that's all you have to do and then now that you've gotten to the bottom of your cake all you have to do is to cut out the extra fondant around the perimeter of your cake and then try to smoothen it as much as you can 
and that's all like you have your cake perfectly covered in fondant if this kind of like confuses you i want you to like turn off the volume of this um thing and then watch it like two three times and look at what i did with my hands and that will make it way easier for you and then all you have to do is smooth in and then you're done so if this video was useful to you could you please give me a thumbs up and could you please send it to someone you know that would like to learn cake decoration but can't really afford the prices um cake decorators charge and everything so thank you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video thank you so much and i'll see you